So hi everyone, my name is Bharti Chaudhary and today we are going to discuss week 1 graded assignment sheet question number 7 and 8. Um, so the question number 7 says that in a survey among 230 students in Milgari House of IIT and BSc degree, the following data were found. 90 students have Hotstar subscription, 110 students have Netflix subscription, 120 students have Amazon Prime subscription, 30 have both Hotstar and Netflix, 30 have Hotstar Amazon Prime and 40 students subscribe to both Netflix and Amazon Prime. So the question is asking us, uh, if we have assumed that all the students have at least one of this, these subscription, then we have to find out that how many students will be there who has subscribed to all these membership, all the th three membership that is Hotstar, Netflix and Amazon Prime. Before turning th to this question, I would request everyone that you can make the Venn diagram so that it will be much more clearer to you. And then after making the Venn diagram, you can simply apply the formula and you'll be able to get the result. Let's make the Venn diagram. Suppose uh, this one represents my uh, the number of the students who have got the hot Hotstar subscription. That is, uh, 90 students are there. 90 students are there who has subscribed to Hotstar. Uh, next, we have Netflix. And we know that 110 students have subscribed to it. Next we have Amazon Prime. And 120 students have subscribed to this. Now it was given that Hotstar and Netflix both are subscribed by 30 students. And Hotstar and Amazon, there is again 30. And for Amazon and Netflix, we have 40. So we have to find out the number of the students who have subscribed to all these three. Suppose this is the green figure that we have to find out. We know a formula that the union of three set is equal to Na plus Nb plus Nc minus A intersection B minus B intersection C minus C intersection A plus A intersection B intersection C. So we have to exactly find out this value. So let us assume, uh, let us write down this formula according to the given notation uh, where we will be uh, representing this A, B, C as our hotstar, Netflix and Amazon. So I am writing the same formula in this notation that is H union N union A is equal to number of the students who have subscribed to hotstar number of students who have subscribed to Netflix, number of students who have subscribed for Amazon Prime, subsequently who have subscribed for Hotstar as well as Netflix, then Hotstar and then Amazon, then Amazon and Netflix plus all the students who have subscribed to all the three one. Now we already have the values. We saw that there were total through 30 students whose survey was taken. So we have the union of H union N union A that is 230 and this is equal to how many students who have subscribed to our hotstar that is 90 subsequently Netflix 110 then Amazon Prime 120. Let's subtract the intersection of uh, both of them. Colored in yellow. So this will be uh, minus 30. 
minus 40 minus 30 and let us consider that uh, the value that all the three of the things have been subscribed let us consider as x so we have to find out the value of x what you can do just simplify this problem you will be able to find out your answer this whole value is going to be equal to 320 230 minus 320 plus all the value that this will be going to give you is 100 and this is going to be equal to x so if you calculate this this is going to give you the value of x which will be equal to 10 so from here you will be able to find out that there are 10 such students who have subscribed to all these three things So answer for this question will be your 10. Moving ahead to the next question. In question number 9, it is saying that in a survey among 100 people, it was found that 80% of these people like TV series Friends and 70% of all the people like the TV series GOT. What is the minimum number of people who like both of the TV series? Note that some of the people may not like any one of the two series. Now, in order to think about the minimum number of people who like both the series, we would need to think of keeping people who do not like any of the series. Now, in this particular question, we have been given that 80% of the people like friends. So, can I say like this that 20% of the people are there who do not like friends? Let's denote this statement so that it will be much more clear. So, I have written the percentage of people who like friends. This is equal to your 80%. Now, from here I can say that Percentage of people who do not like friends and this is equal to 20%. Similarly, we know that 70% of the people like GOT. So, let's write down that how much percentage of the people like GOT we have 70%. In the same manner, we can find out the percentage of the people who do not like GOT, and this will give a big, uh, this will be and this will be equal to 30%. Now, if each of these were separate from each other, suppose that the people or the percentage of the people who do not like friends and the percentage of the people who do not like GOT, they are two different. Then if I add both of them, this is going to give me the percentage of the people who do not like neither or either of these of the uh, programs. Either he will not be liking friends or either he will not be liking GOP. So I will be able to find out that there are 50% of the people, there are 50% of the people in which it may happen that the people may not like either friend or GOT. So naturally, the remaining 50% would be the people who like both. And this will be giving you the minimum percentage of the people who like both. This is equal to 50%. And in the question, it was asked how many minimum people who like both the TV series. So 50% of 100 is equal to 50. So the answer will be 50. I hope I have made this question quite clear. In case if you have still any doubt, you can contact me on the mail ID which I have given in the description below. Or you can also contact me on my Insta ID. And I just wanted to know whether you have got the same answer or not. 
If you have got some different answer, you can comment that below, and I will definitely looking into it. Thank you so much, and we will be meeting in the next video. Bye bye, everyone.